to the tea of the day. Today I have one from Totem Teas called the Zesty Flamingo. Now it has uh, green tea, lemon peel, lemongrass, marigold, and spearmint in this, along with some natural flavoring. Hmm, smells good. Let's see what we got. Ooh. Mm, I see why it's called the Zesty Flamingo. I think it's the lemon peel in particular that right off the top gives you a nice uh, ping kind of effect. Or just boop, boop. Yeah, it gives you that little ooh spark that I really like uh, off the top of it. But then the uh, lemongrass and the others just give it a nice mellow aftertaste, uh, uh, which is good because sometimes some teas can give you a rough aftertaste and it's like you get the initial flavor, it's like that's not too bad, but then afterwards it's like uh, it's not sitting well with me. But this one, good in the front, good on the back. Uh, you can't ask for much more than that. Ah. Now, uh, when I've been doing a couple teas recently, I've actually had a couple with marigold in it. So I uh, figured this is a good chance to talk about the benefits of marigold. So uh, this one is part of the calendula family. And uh, there's lots of different benefits that marigold in particular has. There's a couple of different breeds of it, which I think have some slightly different uh, benefits depending on the type of breed. But we're not going to go into those specifics. We're going to just talk generally what the benefits of marigold are. And first and foremost, they are supposed to be good for wound healing and burn healing. And there's actually been a few studies about this that actually do say that it in fact is very good for those things. Now, um, beyond that, it's good for other very more specific things like uh, vaginal infections and jock itch, uh, various little uh, things like that. Uh, apparently there were some studies done also on uh, vaginal wounds like uh, after birth, even cesarean sections that said if they, uh, when they used it on it after that, along with uh, St. John's Ward and some other things, that it actually was beneficial for that as well. Um, now, for good for skin health, it's an antimicrobial, anti-inflammatory. Um, there's some research that says it might be good for menstrual cramps as well. It's also supposedly good for liver and stomach problems of various kinds like gastritis and ulcers, um, diabetes, depression. Uh, and then general, the general things that you, uh, most herbs will say heart health, cancer. Um, those are pretty much a given for almost actually any herb that you're having in a tea. Uh, I, I think most people don't realize that, that uh, cancer herbs, yeah, do it. Um, other than that, one of the really interesting ones is uh, not so much as far as the tea is concerned, I think, but as far as having uh, marigold in some other formats that it's really good as an insect repellent. And there's actually been some research done on this that it is good for mosquitoes and actually other forms of bugs as well. And uh, they say it doesn't last as long as DEET or some of the chemical ones, but hey, you know, if you have a couple glasses of tea, it probably will last as long. <laughs> but yeah, an insect repellent, that's really cool. There are some uh, studies and stuff that say that it uh, could be bad for you for uh, pregnant women. Um, they say this with a lot of teas. I think it's if mainly if you take it easy, you don't want to have too much of it for sure, and you definitely won't, don't want to have it in other formats when you're pregnant. Um, especially like in the creams and different things like that when or in the oils uh, with marigold with pregnancy because they say that it can um, cause problems with pregnancy and induce labor things like that um, it's also supposed to be possibly allergic especially anybody who's allergic to sunflowers and things like that but uh, I mean, other than that nothing too severe uh, as far as the uh, side effects as far as marigolds concerned so good stuff and a really good tea yeah, these guys are doing some massively good blends. I'm really liking them. So uh, I'm going to finish off there. You guys have a great tea day.